Okay, so um, these are all the candles that I've found since I've been diving for about two months um, from Bath and Body Works. Some of these candles that I'm going to show you are not in the original jar, and some of them might be White Barn because now they sell White Barn candles. Um, what I do is I look for the bags that say broken glass. It'll be like a paper Bath and Body Works bag, or that's how they do it at the ones we go to. Um, be careful, there obviously is broken glass in there. Um, so I bring the broken candles home. I can show you. Alright, so like I bring the broken candles home and then I carefully try to take them out of here. A butter knife is good. Um, be careful because there's normally a lot of glass. Like there's glass on this one. <clears throat> so when I take it out of the broken glass then um, I get candles. Sometimes you can find candles that aren't broken and you'll just get the jar and it'll be a little bit left so then I just um, melt this wax out, wipe it out and then put the other candle inside. So that's how I ended up with these. And sometimes they'll throw away a lot of lids. These are not trash. Get these. So if you end up with a candle without a lid, then you'll end up with a full candle. We ended up found, finding like this whole case right here was actually, all of them are broken except for one. And this one Actually, I guess two, because this one ended up coming out of there. Let me see if my camera will focus. There we go. Um, and we got a full candle ready to go. This one. This one came out of the same case. Um, and this one is White Barn Mahogany Teakwood High Intensity. It smells so good. I'm definitely gonna buy that one and this one smells good too it's midnight blue citrus the rest of these some of them um, this one smells really good too it was um, there was two of them one the jar the original jar was broken but the candle and another one wasn't so I just put that one in here it's mahogany coconut and it smells really good and if you notice they have some really cool lids out. I really like this one. Okay. So, those are all the candles that we have. I'm going to end up putting this probably in this jar soon. So, um, I'll do another video showing you guys how to get the wax out and then how to put the candle in the new jar. Oh, also, sometimes you can just push them down in there. But sometimes they won't fit in just any jar. So that happens. So be careful because that's what happened with this one. It can pop. So be careful when you're trying to push it down inside of there. Alright, so here I'm going to show you um, some things that can happen when you're transferring um, like a broken candle into a new jar. So it's easier. I did find these. They are broken. I took the glass off. And, um, but it's just going to be easier to show you the metal ring that's on the bottom. Okay, so if you look at this candle, there's a metal ring right here. That's what controls your wick on the top. Okay, if you, it's going to be attached to the glass. If you just try to pull the glass off, you're going to end up pulling your wick out. Sometimes you can fix it and push it back inside and still be okay, but... Sometimes, yeah, I guess this one's like that too. Um, you'll lose your wick. So let me see if I can get that to focus. So earlier I showed y'all this candle that I told you smelled really good. That ended up happening. So it's not a, it, it's not a total loss. This one was like that too. Okay, so when you're taking your glass off with your butter knife and gently popping popping the glass off. When you get to the bottom, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. When you get to the bottom, just, I'll show you on another video, but just slide the knife, try to slide it up under the metal ring, you know, to separate it from the glass. So, um, yeah, so, okay, back to this one. It has no wick. So what you can do is you can buy wicks from, like, 
I don't know if Walmart sells them, but like Hobby Lobby sells them. They're pretty cheap, maybe a couple dollars for a pack. Um, and you can melt your candle down, and I'll show y'all how to do that. And then you can just put a new wick inside of it, so you still have a full candle. Alright, so that's a wrap for today's vlog. You've seen what I got. Get out there and dive, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell.